Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Evil Land 2. In the previous episode, we made our way across Mayan Bridge after powering up Menos, only to discover a giant-ass crater where Fina's home village once stood. Not knowing what to do, we headed to Genova to check out the library and made some important discoveries. And in this episode, we're going to be going after the Stone of Time that we need to return back to our time and discover what has happened to the world. The Great Destroyer shall punish you all! Nee, nee, nee. What did I do to deserve such nimbeciles? Nee. Well, will no one open this for me? We sent for someone, venerable prophet. Me, how dare you make me languish here? Ah, finally! One of these days I'll have to change that mechanism. But it's the surest way to protect my precious, my very precious stone of time. Be a fan of the knights who say knee, huh? Well, may as well go talk to these guys, see if we can get in. Entrance to the Great Pyramid is restricted. Only the Prophet and the Eldest Disciples may go in. And there's no point searching for the key. The door only opens from the inside. Which can be problematic at times, actually. Just the other day, the Prophet was locked out because of a sudden draft. It took a whole week to force the door open, and then it had to be replaced. The Prophet proclaimed drafts to be a sign of the world's annihilation. Right. See that beautiful pyramid? We're the ones who built it. It required lots of hard work. But when water covers everything, we'll be able to take shelter in there. Still, the slate detail has been niggling me. You think it'll float? Okay, there's... Who do I talk to about getting inside? Is it you? Don't even try to scale the pyramid. It's so slippery, even the famed ninja squirrels never made it to the top. To get inside, you'd need to reach it by air. <clears throat> but without wings, it cannot be done. When humans fly, as they say... Come on, there's somebody around here I need to talk to about getting inside. Oh, wait, I think I've saw them. I came here to become a disciple. <clears throat> but novice training is really difficult. You have to master quite a few skills. I'm not sure I'll make it. Okay. Yeah, those look like some important guys. Let's go see if they'll let us inside. Do you want to take the novice test? Yes. Fine. Listen carefully to my question and choose the correct answer. The great disaster was the first omen of the world's annihilation. What will the second be? A flood. Yes, exactly. That's why we built the pyramid. That way, we'll all be able to survive when water covers the world. Your novice training isn't over yet. Speak to the other professors to continue the test. You want to take the novice test? Yes. Fine. Listen carefully to my question and choose the correct answer. Before destroying the world, the Great Destroyer must first do something. What is it? Collect the five keys. Yes, that's it. There's surely a hidden meaning to the keys, but the Prophet is unequivocal when it comes to the number five. Your novice training isn't over yet, blah blah blah. Take novice test, yes, fine. Listen carefully, blah blah blah. The great eye symbolizes the great destroyer. It is etched into our most precious treasure. What is this treasure? The Stone of Time. Well done. Indeed, the Stone of Time is kept at the very top of the pyramid. The Prophet discovered it near the smug shortly after the great disaster. Congratulations, you passed the novice test. But that's only the first step. 
become a disciple, you need to go to Windy Valley and then climb Mount Alpha. Atop Mount Alpha, you'll have to spend an entire day meditating before our symbol, the Great Eye. Only then will you be ready to become a disciple. Really, all this work just to become a disciple? I really hope there's an easier way to get to the top of that pyramid, because we don't have that kind of time. I mean, technically we do because of the whole time travel thing, but yeah, let's not get into it. The right, only thing to do is to get out of here. And I know exactly where to go for this so-called Windy Valley. Hmm, what's this? He who sought to fly like the wind. Unknown inventor. B-943, D-1012. Oh, birth and death. I know you. Long time no see. What are you doing here, then? We call this place Windy Valley, but the Wind Guardian hasn't been seen here in ages. One guy actually tried to get the wind going again, but he died in the attempt. Anyway, as you know, none of that really matters. Oh, trust me, this place is going to become very important. Now, when you get here, talk to the guy on the left, not the guy on the right. Access to the top of the mount... Top of Mount Alpha is to the... Access to the top of Mount Alpha is restricted to those apprentices who've passed the novice training in order to become disciples of the Prophet. If you have not passed, you shall not pass. Oh, you're that new novice. I was told you'd be coming to finish your training. I hope they get word here before us. I mean, I know it's the future, but it doesn't seem like they have any means of communication besides letter. Well, then spoken word. Watch yourself. Climbing Mount Alpha is most perilous. After all, we have little use for weak disciples. Only the best and strongest. Only the best among us will earn their place in the world post annihilation. Okay. And we have. a side scroller. And of course, there's also invincible enemies. Let's see. The usual bats. But, thankfully, we do have what is essentially our Buster Sword. Da, 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 da. Okay. I know where, we, where the first of the collectibles is. Oh, and I uh, see those things. Those are not regular crystals, those are spikes. They will kill you instantly if you're not careful. Now, let's see. Didn't even see them there. But yeah, that just proves it. They will kill you in one hit. Which it seems kind of ridiculous that I got that just from walking into it instead of falling onto it. Not even gonna bother going back for that heart, which I know will probably be my undoing. Kill me, though it was a waste of time to come this way. Okay then, let's see. Just past this spider should be... Yeah, there it is. A green goop. And just like with the red mushrooms, you can bounce off these blue ones too. Keep heading up this way. Come on, guide, work with me. There we go. Da, 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 da. Okay. Got an idea of where the next one is. Oh, look, it's our old friends, the mushrooms. Don't try and jump on those. Thankfully, the spikes that kill 
us also kill our enemies. Okay, let's try that again without dying. Not gonna complain about a level up. Now then, let's see. Ah, apparently you can kill them. Just making sure we're on the right path. Not missing anything. Because, well, there's certain areas in the game that are a one-time visit only. And, well, you're not going to want to miss any of the important collectibles. Now, whatever you do, do not hit the jump button when you're on these ones. Otherwise, it'll probably rocket you into those spikes above you. Okay, then. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Oh, and, uh, remember this... Ow. Remember that vanishing... ...block, because that is gonna be important later. I'm gonna be dying a lot in this, aren't I? Just gotta be careful. Ow. Time it properly, though that can't account for the enemies. Now, instead of heading to the left, head to the right, smash these blocks up, and we get... Our second mana! Though we won't be using it at the moment, because I'm not gonna backtrack through all of this. Though I am gonna have to go all the way back to the bottom. That's fine. Fine, it won't take me too long to get back to the top. There we go. Now, let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm showing up more and more. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I think I've got a good idea where the next collectible is. Yeah, there it is. It's another star! And I believe there's only two left for us to find. Plus, going after that collectible let us bypass several enemies. Okay, gonna wait for that to disappear. And run across as it's appearing. All of them, but I at least got. Oh no, I got two. Uh, I would have had two of them. How I didn't hit that when I quite clearly did, I have no idea. And look! Gee, I wonder who this is a reference to. Clara Locked. Oh, you're an archaeologist as well? Ever since I was a little girl, I've dreamt of unearthing certain magi secrets. It's something called the Anomaly. If I locate the Anomaly someday, I'll be internationally recognized. But seeing as how I don't know what it looks like, for now, all I can do is search. And look! It's that puzzle from Mega Man that nobody liked! Okay, let me observe the pattern for this one. Oh, 
almost there. Don't screw up now, of all times. I did it again. Come on. Well, at least that one was done early on. There we go. And thankfully they were kind enough to put a save spot here. Okay, let Menos destroy those couple of blocks. Thought it was movement, not timing based. Okay, let's try that again. Block, break some blocks. Let them disappear. Come on. Jump onto these, get up here, and we get... Another Oricon or Just that much closer to getting our armor. Okay, that was close. Anyways, we keep jumping up here. And unfortunately, we can't actually hit these guys because they're technically invincible. And Menos can't flip them over as they're not on the ground. Just gonna have to avoid them twice over. But, at least they look like they're having fun, I guess. Mm. Okay, next one is going to be a segment with lots of falling rocks. Yep, stupid bat. You make me look bad. That's now before I get in my way. Leap of faith? Wait, wait. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, just checking over the guide, making sure I'm doing this right. Death hat, making sure I'm doing this right. This little guy. Off from the that have bouncing platforms, and we get our red goop, and that is the last collectible of the area. And that is also the end of the area. Now here's the thing: we actually still have some time left in this episode. But, I know that the next segment is going to take up a lot of time, and I don't want to turn this into an hour-long episode. So, I'm going to save right here, and we're going to end this episode off here for today. Bit of a shorter one, but oh well, such as it is. Uh, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, and I will see you guys in the next episode.